Hi, my name is Mary Poffenroth, and I'm an adjunct professor of biology. And we're going to talk about pollinators and angiosperms. Angiosperms are just a scientific name for flowering plants. And flowering plants have always had a close relationship with their pollinators. So, why do plants need these pollinators? Well, as you know, once a plant starts to grow, it makes it pretty tough to get around and find a mate to exchange genetic information with. Angiosperms and land animals have had a mutually beneficial relationship throughout their evolutionary history. Land animals receive food, shelter, and water from these angiosperms, and angiosperms get animals to provide seed dispersal as well as pollination. The flowers of many angiosperms attract pollinators like bees, birds, bats, and butterflies. They attract these pollinators with showy flowers, sweet smells, and of course, pollen and nectar. For many of these pollinators, nectar and pollen are their sole source of food. Now, many plants can self-pollinate. However, you want to increase genetic diversity by bringing pollen, which is genetic information, from a nearby plant that's going to be genetically different from your own. Pollinators are extremely important to our food crops as well. In fact, one third of our food crop is pollinated just by bees. It's important to protect our pollinators by decreasing the amount of pesticides we use, increasing the amount of open space, and increasing the amount of native habitat that we provide. So next time you're swatting at that honeybee, remember that honeybee is why you have corn on the table. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about this subject, click on the link below. Or if you want to learn more biology, feel free to click on any of the links around me. And please, rate, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Or maybe, if you have ideas for more videos, send us an email at requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for learning.